Jo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is David Jr. A typical village boy born and raised in Kenya. And if it is your very first time on this YouTube channel, consider subscribing because that's the best way to support me. So, I'm coming live from Nairobi, guys. Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya. Like, this is where the government institutions are located in. The parliament, big offices. Yeah, guys. So, on today's video, we're going to talk about dating life here in Nairobi. Look who I am with. Huh? <laughs> hey, can you introduce yourself? Hi, guys. Okay, my name is Muniz. And I'm so glad to be here today. Yeah, super glad. Actually, for me, it is an honor, guys, you know? Look how beautiful she is. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, guys. So, actually, she is my neighbor. We do stay with her at this beautiful place. For those who don't and for those who are new here guys i'm a student in one of the universities in kenya that is cooperative university located in Karen, you know the main campus mm -hmm. so without much further ado let's begin our conversation so how is dating life here in Nairobi, kenya well okay according to me mm -hmm. dating life in Nairobi is tough very tough very super tough. tough very tough mm -hmm. Because nowadays it's like a stereotype. You mm -hmm. have to have money. Mm -hmm. Money is like a key thing nowadays. Money talk. Not for me. I'm talking about Nairobi. Yeah, guys, we're just sharing our honest opinions. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah money. Mm -hmm. Money is everything. Crazy. Like money talks here in Nairobi, Kenya. Especially here in the university. It's crazy, guys. Mm -hmm. Like girls can do anything for money, you know? This is the reality here in in campuses in Kenya guys like not only in Kenya but I think all over the world like these days money talks is that yeah, true? It's true, it's mm -hmm. true it's very true and how much does you need like to survive in a day here in Nairobi? okay as for me it depends mm -hmm. like someone like me who's mm -hmm. very simple mm -hmm. I need like 200 shillings that is the same as two dollars guys yeah mm -hmm. for me 200 shillings a day mm -hmm. is enough mm -hmm. if you have like commodities in your house mm -hmm. and like internet <laughs> which is very important nowadays yeah very important. yeah you're very okay to survive yeah like for me internet is key like i cannot do anything without mm -hmm. internet connection like internet is everything to me then in this, work. yeah sure mm -hmm. even in this place that we're staying in there is there is internet connection that is one of the things that i love at this place you yeah. know there is a lot of security and mm -hmm. also security is key for me like yes. security is everything mm -hmm. you know yeah mm -hmm. and how much is rent here in university okay rent mm -hmm. rent is eight eight thousand five hundred mm -hmm. yeah. that is the same as 85 dollars guys <laughs> Let us get in the let us a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us get in the comment section below. Is that a lot of money for a student in the university guys paying eighty-five dollars a month? Let us get in the comment section below. Uh -huh. But for us it is worth it. Why? Because the place that we're staying like it is for the rich guys. Mm -hmm. For those who are in Kenya, they do understand like Karen is no joke. Mm -hmm. Like this is where the rich do stay. Mm -hmm. And everything. Have you ever been in a heartbreak? Yeah, I have. I have been at broken ones. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. Heartbreaks are the worst. Mm -hmm. How was your experience? <laughs> Crazy. If I talk about it, I'll cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just move on. <laughs> you just move on regardless. Just move on, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like for me, like for me, heartbreaks is something else. I don't want to like to experience heartbreak in my you life. You haven't been heartbroken so many times, but I always move on. Like for me, my heartbreaks only last maybe for two days, and I'm done. <laughs> two days, guys. Two days, guys. Yeah, that's These guys the... move on in two days. As girls, it's very hard. Very hard. Very hard. Like for you? Mine took six months. Six months. Just getting over one guy, which is very bad. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Dating life is crazy, guys. Very, very crazy. crazy. Especially crazy. here in Nairobi. You may find like someone who is not genuine, like mm -hmm. she or he is in for your money you know maybe your occupation something like that and if you are and if he or she is done with her mission 
she or he just goes just on. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So dating life is crazy. That's what we want to say. Like dating life is crazy, especially in Nairobi, guys. <laughs> and the famous slogan in Nairobi, mm-hmm. what we could share meaning, mm-hmm. it's sharing. Like, <laughs> they don't, like a guy has like five girlfriends, mm-hmm. but one main one, which is very, very bad. And <laughs> imagine being the fifth. Crazy guys, mm-hmm. like the slogan is people do share here in Nairobi. That's the slogan in Nairobi. That's the slogan. Mm-hmm. Let us get in the comment section below, guys. Mm-hmm. Do in your country people share? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so these are our honest opinions. Yeah. We're just sharing our thoughts. Mm-hmm. Actually, we are university students, guys, and we feel like today we want to do something crazy for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let us get in the comment section below. What do you think about this kind of life here in Nairobi? And also people are scammers here. Scams are everywhere, guys. For me, I have that experience. I once been scammed in Nairobi at the CBD. What did you get scammed? Like, I once paid, I once paid, like, let's say $10 Mm -hmm. for a taxi driver in a place that I could pay $2. I felt really, really bad. I was so heartbroken. So that is one of my crazy incidents that had occurred when I'm in Nairobi here. Mm-hmm. So I'm always very careful, very, very careful. And also, phone snatchers are there like all over. You know, it's not advisable like to give someone a call, especially like, when you are in the CBD of Nairobi. Yeah, it's scary. It's, it's very, very scary, scary, guys. Yes. Yeah. Thank you all for the love and support. I think we're going to be ending this video here. Mm-hmm. Kindly go follow us on Instagram. Yeah. The, for me, the same name as this YouTube channel, David Junior. And you? Monis Jenna, go follow me, guys, please. <laughs> yeah, go show her some love and support yeah. there. Yeah. And also, she want to start a YouTube channel. Yeah, I'll be starting very soon. Very, very soon. Support me too. Yeah, guys, we hope. You want to support her, you know? Yeah. yeah, it's just a good thing. Mm-hmm. Thank you all for the love and support. Actually, for me, I'm really humbled to have you on my YouTube oh, channel thank today. You, thank you. I'm also very humbled to be here. Oh, wow. And if you have a crush on her, pass through me, guys. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. I think we're going to be ending this last, this video here. Thank you all for the love and support. See you in our next video, guys. Greetings. Oh, subscribe, guys. That's the anthem mm-hmm. for today. Can you subscribe? We're on the road to 20k subscribers, you know. Yeah, see you in our next video. Greetings from Nairobi, Kenya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.